Pat Cipollone was a top White House lawyer. Here's what he told us about his reaction to seeing the violence and his advice throughout the afternoon. When did you first realize that there was actual violence or rioting? I, I first realized that it may have been on television or it may have been Tony or it may have been Bill, but I, I found out that people were, you know, they weren't in the Capitol yet, but they were, you know, and, and then I started watching it and, you know, then I was aware. What specifically did you think? You were yeah. I think I was pretty clear there needed to be an immediate and forceful response statement, public statement that people need to leave the Capitol now. My question is exactly that. that. It sounds like you, from the very onset of violence at the Capitol, right around 2 o'clock, were pushing for a strong statement that people should leave the Capitol. Is that right? I was at other sorters. Okay. Pat, you, you said that you expressed your opinion forcefully. Could you tell us exactly how you did that? Yeah, I can't. I I'm, I'm don't have, you know, I, I have to... Uh, on the privilege issue, I can't talk about conversations with the president, but I can generically say that I said, you know, people need to be told there needs to be a public announcement fast that they need to leave the Capitol. And Pat, could you let us know approximately when you said that? Approximately when? Almost immediately after I found out people were getting into the Capitol or approaching the Capitol in a way that was was uh, violent. Do you remember any, any discussion with Mark Meadows with respect to his, his view that the president didn't want to do anything? Was, was somehow resistant to wanting to say something along the lines that he suggested? Talking and, about so not just, just to be clear, many people suggested it. Um, yeah. Not just me, many people felt the same way. Um, I'm sure I had conversations with Mark about this during the course of the day and expressed my my opinion very forcefully that this needs to be done. Okay. So your advice was to tell people to leave the Capitol, and it took over two hours when there were subsequent statements made, tweets put forth, that in your view were insufficient. Did you continue, Mr. Cipollone, throughout the period of time up until... 417, continue, you and others, to push for a stronger state. Yes. Were you joined in that effort by Ivanka Trump? Yes. Eric Hershey? Yes. By Mark Meadow? Yes. White House Counsel's Office wanted there to be a strong statement out to condemn the rioters. I'm confident in that. I'm confident that Ivanka Trump wanted there to be a strong statement to condemn the rioters. Um, I don't know the private conversation she had with Mr. Trump and I remember when she came to the office one time with White House Counsel's office, when she came to the Chief of Staff's office with White House Counsel's office, she was talking about the speech later that day and trying to get her dad on board with saying something that was more direct than he had wanted to at the time and throughout the afternoon. And I think Mark also wanted to get, I remember him getting Ivanka involved because it's like get Ivanka down here because he thought that would be um, important. Um, I don't think Jared was there in the morning, but I think he came later. I remember thinking it was important to get him in there too. Um, and, and of course, Pat Philbin, you know, was expressing the same things. I mean, Pat Philbin, you know, was very, as I said, I, I don't think there was one of these meetings where there might have been, but for the most part, I remember the both of us going down together, going back, getting on phone calls. He was also very clearly expressing this view.